let us not believe that the fruits of our labor are caused by ourselves. You know, we have to remember that it's God that's doing good things through us. My name is Nick Zumo, as you said, and uh, I'm a seminarian here at Mundelein, and I'm currently on internship, zooming in with you, so that's cool. And uh, when I'm normally at the seminary, I'm involved with the uh, Franciscan mission, uh, Our Lady of the Angels, on the west side of Chicago. Uh, and they're located in a poor part of town and minister uh, through helping to organize clothing and food and just kind of the general necessities for the people in the area. Uh, so that's one thing that I've, I've gotten to participate during my time in the seminary. During my time here on internship, I've also had the opportunity to work with the St. Vincent de Paul uh, during, yeah, on Mondays here. And so that's been another cool experience um, throughout my time in seminary. So that's a little bit about me, Juan. Oh, perfect. And so being able to serve in, in different capacities, in different locations, like what has your experience been like as you, I mean, as you meet people from Chicago and over from your diocese, how does that, how does that look? Yeah, it's really cool. The people that you meet in these different locations, um, drawing from Our Lady of the Angels and from uh, the St. Vincent de Paul, in both circumstances, I've met some very joyful people and uh, some very dedicated people as well, uh, usually in conjunction, right? And I've just been moved by the fact that they are so joyful, they are so dedicated, and all the good that's able to be uh, brought about through the assistance of people like that. Um, but one thing I also keep in mind, uh, our group here in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, where I'm stationed right now, they have a prayer before, uh, before meetings that says, you know, like to paraphrase, let us not believe that the fruits of our labor are caused by ourselves. You know, we have to remember that it's God that's doing good things through us. So I think that's a cool point of view that they have uh, and a good reminder for me that I found. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been cool. I really enjoyed getting to meet the people. That, that's amazing. So being able to see like you, in a way you're being that instrument, you're, uh, God is working through you with the people. Uh, do you feel like there's a connection of, of the people also working with you or how, how does that relationship work? Mm -hmm. So I think there's certainly the connection of people working with me amongst the other volunteers. Um, and it's, it's been cool to see the camaraderie develop, the playfulness that develops, the sense of humor that develops. Um, and so that's been really cool. With the, uh, the neighbors, as they call them here in Popular Bluff, or um, you know, just the people that come up and receive help, it, it's always really cool to see the relationship there as well, because I've had a lot of people come up and thank me as if I was doing something in particular. You know, even though I'm just kind of there, one of, you know, at the Franciscans, I'm one of maybe 50 people on a given weekend that's there that, that I know of at that, per, that particular time, right? And so it's really interesting to see the appreciation uh, that the people have, even for the, the pieces that we participate in. Um, yeah. And what is it that moves you to want to go serve and go out there and, you know, be at, at the mission, be at St. Vincent? Like, what, what is it that moves you internally? Mm -hmm. I think what moves me internally is I really like to, to see and participate in the active charity of the church because it's very easy to compartmentalize our faith. And I think that really limits what we can do and limits the the way that God can work in the world if we think that way. And so I love being able to help to show the presence of God in and among the community, amongst Catholics, non-Catholics, rich, poor, because it's not something we we do just ourselves. It's not something just our little community. It, it's something that we we bring out to the world. And so I, I, I really enjoy that that aspect. Oh, that's awesome. And then um as you're serving the people or when you are done with the day, I mean, I'm guessing you might be tired maybe, or there's a lot of labor, things like that. 
Um, how do you feel? What does that uh, prayer like look like afterwards? Like, how, how do you feel? Yeah, it, it can be a lengthy time, and it's a lot of walking around, a lot of moving things. So there is the physical tiredness that comes, right? Um, but as you said, I've, I've always noticed a deep sense of appreciation um, and just a, a love that God can work through us in that way and that uh, we're doing good within the world and we're representing Christ and the church to these other people. Um, and it's such a great method of evangelization, too, because I know there's lots of people that come up to the window at St. Vincent de Paul and receive food or come up at Our Lady of the Angels and are getting clothing or food, and they're not Catholic, or they may have very little exposure to the Catholic Church, but they see someone in a collar, and that's a little piece for them, you know, so that's that's been a really cool experience. Great. Well, thank you very much for taking your time uh, and to, like, talk to us about your experience as you're serving. It's, it's great to hear that, and it's great to see that uh, joy of being that instrument of God to others, so thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having me.